Hi, I'm Manish Mehta with the New York Daily News previewing the AFC Championship game. The Jets traveling up to Pittsburgh to face the second-seeded Steelers and a rematch of the Jets' Week 15 win up in Pittsburgh. Let's get to the three keys to the game. First and foremost, the Jets' defense has to come up big for the third consecutive week. The Jets were effective in Week 15 when they beat Pittsburgh, came down to a couple plays at the end of the game around the 10-yard line. The Jets made two key stops. They're going to have to come up big to stop Roethlisberger, who's a load to get down, an extremely effective throwing the ball out of the pocket. You know, we all know in here that, that Ben um, can extend plays. Uh, the plays can last for 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, he, he's good with his feet. He can scramble. Um, and, and when we played them the first time, you know, uh, the coaching staff just said, uh, make sure we plaster those guys. Make sure, uh, you know, when the plays are extended, just find your guy and plaster him and get on him as tight as you can. The receivers do a great job. They run their route, and then they, they, they see, you know, Big Ben scrambling and all that, and they get open. You know, they'll come back to the ball like most people do, but then they'll they, they, they stay active. Second, Mark Sanchez will probably have to win this game on offense. The Jets will be facing a formidable Pittsburgh run defense that will have Troy Palomalu back. Remember, Palomalu did not play in that game up in Pittsburgh last month. The Jets ran for over 100 yards, the highest total against this Pittsburgh run defense all season. But the Steelers led the league in run defense, averaging only 62 yards allowed per game. It'll be tough sledding for LaDainian Tomlinson and Sean Green. So Sanchez will probably have to make plays through the air. Look for Dustin Keller. Antonio Holmes, Braylon Edwards, all those guys to get involved if the Jets are going to march on to Dallas. You know, as competitors and, and guys who want to win, this is, we've put together the, the best team possible. We're peaking at the right time, and now it's about, you know, not making anything up, not changing what you do, just being yourself, having fun with the preparation, but being serious and taking advantage of this opportunity, understanding what's at stake and trying to win this game. Uh, he wants to be perfect every time. And I think it's, it's our duty as receivers to let them know that mistakes are going to happen, you know, during the course of the game. But we need you to keep your cool because we're going to ride with you no matter what. And I think he takes that approach now that he understands that he has three, you know, playmakers as receivers. He got two, two good running backs. Well, I, I wouldn't even say good. I'm going to use the word great running backs, you know, in my eyes that these guys are great. And he just have time to just give, give his playmakers the ball and let them do what they need to do. And finally, the Jets are going to have to win the special teams battle. Remember, in week 15, Brad Smith started the game off with a kickoff return for a touchdown. And it'll be vital for Steve Weatherford and Nick Falk to have good games. Remember, Weatherford has had a couple off games in the playoffs after a tremendous regular season. He also pinned the Steelers deep a few times in critical moments in week 15. He's going to have to duplicate that effort. And Nick Falk, everybody knows it's a house of horrors in Heinz Field for kickers, but it's probably going to be a tight game and Falk's probably going to need to make a big kick down the stretch.